Hey guys, it's the special video of the week. So today I will be doing a collab with a manga drawing friend of mine. Uh, he's the main uh, admin at the White Manga uh, Publishing Group on DeviantArt. He supports young mangakas from all around the world and I really support his work and like what he's doing and personally am a fan of his manga called Apple Black. So today uh, as an arranged collab video I will be doing his characters from his manga uh, Apple Black uh, called Sano and Weaverth. Uh, he, those are his main characters and you can see them by visiting his page uh, and visiting his uh, manga page also on the links uh, that I will be leaving under the video. So let's see what tools I will be using today. Okay, for today's collab I will be using some standard manga tools uh, like a drafting pen, normal drafting pen, a Mapad Softy uh, eraser. I really prefer these erasers. They're wonderful. They're pure white and they're really nice and easy to work with and they don't smudge and don't make a mess. Um, after that I will uh, clean the eraser residue with this deleter uh, brush, um, feather brush um, cleaner I guess. You can call it the feather brush broom. Uh, I already explained to you in my previous videos that you can, you don't need to um, have a lot of money for a tool for uh, erasing the, the eraser junk, you just have to have um, maybe a wider brush or um, some random feather you picked up and just cl clean it out. Um, then after that I will be doing the inking by using a Japanese sumi ink which is uh, wonderful to work with but once again I'm warning you it's not waterproof but it can be used with Copics so I'll definitely try it out and show you how it works um, this G pen I'll be using uh, as an ad for my yesterday's video about basic manga inking tools and you can see me uh, working with Sumi ink and G pen and inking this work. Also for bigger surfaces I will uh, dab the normal paintbrush into the Sumi ink and make the wider, uh, the bigger black surfaces. Uh, also uh, Always remember, don't use any kind of colors or switch to uh, watercolors after inking immediately because the ink needs time to dry. Uh, the one sure way to know if your ink is dry is to take the drawing uh, near a light source and uh, just switch around the paper and if it's still shiny, if it reflects light, then it means it's still wet. If it doesn't, if it's mate, if it's um, shineless, it means it's okay. You can proceed to the water, uh, Copics, watercolors, whatever. And for the coloring today, I will be using these Copics. I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, eight Copics for the entire thing. So. Uh, for the white surfaces, I will just leave the uh, white uh, pieces of paper out. It's the way to get the brightest white surfaces without doing any work and without wasting any uh, white paint and of course not wasting Copics. And for shading the, the white areas, I will be definitely using warm grey W2, W3 and neutral N4. Also, for skin, as I have shown you before, I always use my favorite Skin White E00 Copic. Uh, I shade that with uh, E13 Light Suntan 
And for today's characters, who have blue eyes, blue uh, clothes, and his pet uh, Vivert has blue face, uh, I will be using these three blue Copics. Uh, these are Ice Blue B12, uh, Light Blue B14, and Peacock Blue B06. So, and a special treat I received from my friend Laura, which I'm so grateful for recently. I received this Express It blending card paper. Uh, it contains 25 sheets of pure white smooth paper uh, made for blending uh, with uh, Copics. So I just tested a little bit of it out and I think it will make this illustration even more vibrant and colorful and fun to work with. So let's, let's test it all out today.